Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial. So in this video I'll look at how we can simulate class in UE5. By learning a couple of simple tricks you will be able to simulate class and use it as flags or clothes on your characters. So without further ado let's jump right in and get started. The first thing we need is a plane with a good amount of polygons so we can have a smooth and realistic simulation. Here in the modeling mode you can make a rectangle and use it but while I was playing with it I ran into some bugs so I preferred to just simply export a plane from my 3D modeling software and import it into UE5. Just make a plane in your preferred software and then subdivide it so it can be bent smoothly and then export it as an FBX file. We need a skeletal mesh to be able to simulate clouds so when you import the file make sure you check the skeletal mesh option. Open it up and here in the skeletal mesh editor we need to make some adjustments to be able to simulate the cloth effect we are looking for. First right click on the mesh and select create clothing data and hit create. Right click again and now select apply clothing data on the mesh. Now we should go to the clothing window and if you don't have it just go to window and select clothing. Now select the mesh here and then hit activate cloth paint. Now you can see that our brush is activated and we can paint on the mesh. White areas will behave like cloth and the pink areas will behave like normal mesh. Here you can play with the brush size and also keep in mind that when you bump up the paint value it will be smoother and work better. So let's put it on 800 and paint the mesh. Here I'm gonna leave this area unpainted so it will function like the bar which the flag is connected to. Alright, let's assign a material to it and now if you deactivate the cloth paint it will simulate the effect and we can see how it's functioning. Let's drag it into the scene and hit simulate instead of play so we can move it when the level is being played. As you can see it's working perfectly and that's how easy it is to make a cloth in UE5. Now let's rotate it and also add a wind to make it behave like a flag. Here just type wind and drag it into the scene. The blue arrow shows the direction of the wind so let's rotate it to match it with the flag and also let's bump up its strength and speed. Hit simulate and as you can see it's looking absolutely perfect. Be careful that if you increase the speed too much it will act crazy so find an optimum value to make the flag look as good as possible. Okay now I want to be able to drop the cloth on top of the objects in the level so let's go back to it and paint the area which we left in the flag. Now nothing is holding it and when we simulate it will fall down. Here as you can see it's falling down without colliding to our meshes in the scene. In order to fix this we just need to select the skeletal mesh and here type collide. Then here in the clothing just tick this option and also tick force collision update. That's all we need to do and now let's drag a mesh into the scene and test it. Yeah as you can see it's working perfectly and it behaves completely like a cloth hitting solid surfaces in the level. That's it for this video and if you learned something new please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching see you next time.